Oh my gosh, y'all look at my hair. She's a pretty brown thing. Got them curls that came. And everybody knows when they see me, it's take glow. She's got beauty and brain. A glow that shines through rain. She's take glow. What's up, Tech Glow Gang? Today, I'm just doing a little review over this Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. It's a shampoo, and it's Love at First Wash Water to Foam Shampoo, and it's with aloe. It has no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, no artificial colors. So, this is the day after I wash my hair. I've already used this product. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you how I feel about the product now and let you see the process of it happening just to not waste your time or have any confusion. So, all the disclaimers now, all the facts before. I'm not going to make y'all wait for that. So, pros. This smells really good. It has a really fresh smell. Like, this is probably one of the best smelling shampoos I have ever used. If you're somebody who's more, fo more focused on a cleansing shampoo rather than moisturizing this is your shampoo this shampoo will get your hair squeaky clean not just barely clean this is a squeaky clean shampoo so if you don't want your hair squeaky clean and you want the moisture this is not the shampoo for you because this shampoo does not give you moisture it's a cleanser but I will say I'm gonna go to the um, those are the pros so another pro is after I uh, took the shampoo out it was really soft. My hair was really soft. This is probably the softest my hair has been on wash day. But, cons now. During the process, my hair got really matted and tangled. It was literally like squeaky clean. I was wondering why it was feeling so weird. Like it literally felt like my hair was rubber. That's because this shampoo really cleansed my hair. And it's a deep cleanser. Like, if you want moisture, during the process, this is not it. I went in, I always, um... Uh, do a precondition and then a co-wash to detangle my hair before and then the shampoo that was all a waste of time because this shampoo matted my hair up and got it stuck together but it cleansed my hair so right now I have mixed reviews on this product still this is after using it I have mixed reviews and um, <clears throat> I went to watch some watch some videos after um, do using this on my hair because I was not expecting it to do this bad for my hair so I watched some videos and I seen mixed reviews there. It depends on what you want in your shampoo with this shampoo. But I will try to use this again um, while shampooing my hair in sections. I never shampooed my hair in sections, but I'm going to try it that way because this was a really good cleanser. It was just the fact that it made my hair tangle back up and erase my entire process. But with that being said, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and put the clips in for the video so y'all can see for yourselves my process and what the shampoo did or didn't do. What's up, Tegro Gang? Today I'm going to be doing my wash day routine, a little bit of that, how I take care of my hair on wash day and how I cleans my scalp. And I'm going to be showing y'all this new shampoo. This is a new shampoo. I'm not sure when it came out, but the bottle says new and I've never seen anybody with it. But I'm pretty sure someone's going to review over it. But this is the Carol's Daughter. Carol's Daughter. If you have natural hair and you know anything about products and you don't know about Carol's Daughter, you're missing out. Carol's Daughter is a really good natural hair care line so this is the carol's daughter wash day delight hair so clean and surprisingly soft let's see let's see if that's true it says water to foam shampoo and it comes with aloe and it's no sulfates no parabens no silicones and no artificial colors and obviously there's no colors and it gives you the instructions on the back it says wet your hair use the pointed tip to target the scalp gently massage into scalp and hair while working, lather through the mid lengths to ends, and then rinse well. Follow with your favorite Carol Starter conditioner. And they have a lot of those, but I'm not using those today because this was the only thing I could afford, and this is what I chose to get. Because I really want to try this, and I really want to tell y'all about this because a shampoo that's water based and it has aloe in it, what can go wrong? My hair is not washed right now. Um, but I did condition it in the shower and detangle it to prep it. I always condition my hair first in the shower to get the first level of detangling done. And then I go in with this As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. I do the conditioner first just to put some moisture into my hair before um, conditioning, before shampooing it, rather than doing a pre-poo. Pre and then this is just to further 
cleanse my scalp before while moisturizing and also just another step of detangling to get this started i just wet my hair make sure my hair is completely soaked and then i just go in generously with the product because i use product a lot um this coconut co-wash by as i am is one of my favorite products this is one of my only products that i just continue to use and i've been using everything else i kind of rotate out of course i show you my full process because this is what i would do with any other shampoo and whenever you review products you always want to follow your regular routine you don't want to self-harm basically that's what it is if you go in doing things you do different then you're not actually giving the product a chance and you're not actually letting the product do what it would do on your normal wash day you always want to follow your normal wash day when you use products just to know that it would really work if you don't comb your hair first if you don't do anything that you usually do of course the product is going to be bad but if you follow everything you usually do and you take care of your hair and then this messes it up you will know that it's the product i also highly recommend these steps you can either do a pre-pool and then condition or co-wash and then wash your hair for me i just do a conditioner then a co-wash and then a shampoo just to make sure my hair is further detangled and then after that you just want to slowly gradually get to smaller combs or brushes just to make sure uh, you get those small knots out because if you're anybody like me i have single strand knots and using a wide tooth comb isn't enough for my hair i need to make sure my hair is fully detangled now on this part since this is my last time that i will be detangling my hair during the conditioning process i make sure i go in really good and i get all the way to my roots because you will have some nangle tangles and knots at the roots of your hair so you want to make sure you get all the way to your roots by the end of this process okay y'all here's the part we've been waiting for the part i've been waiting for so i'm just gonna apply that to my scalp oh y'all this comes out watery i may want to use a little less because it is water like so y'all this does have a very strong aloe smell y'all okay do y'all see that lather coming in and it has an aloe smell to it so you know that aloe is in there and it kind of has like a tea tree type of smell but it definitely has that aloe smell smells really good it's a really fresh smell that's the first thing i noticed and y'all look at the lather the way it was feeling on my scalp it was very water it felt like i was putting water on my scalp and for this to be lathering up like this i'm very shocked i'm just gonna take this down the rest of my hair and y'all can see how much this lathers and it's not an overwhelming lather to where you feel like it's gonna strip your hair so right now I would say I like the product. I do feel my hair uh, getting kind of clumped together. I'm going to see how my hair reacts to it after, so I can't really give a now. I kind of feel like my hair feels weird. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but it feels like my hair is getting stuck together. And look, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I don't know. I'm going to put some more because I feel like there's some places I missed. But overall, the lather is really good. I do feel like my scalp is getting clean. And my hair, I just, my hair feels weird though. Like it feels very weird on my hair. Like I can't describe the feeling though. But my hair feels like a completely different texture right now. So, I will say that's a con for me. Like, I've never felt a shampoo make my hair feel like this. And what's crazy is, I can't describe the feeling. Like, for me to tell you if it's a good feeling or bad. But y'all look. Y'all saw, saw how good my hair was detangling before. And this is now. We seen how my hair was before and how it is now. I don't like the way my hair feels at all. But... I don't want to speak too soon and say that this is a bad product because um, I haven't really seen the after effects. But right now, while it's in my hair, I do not like the way it feels. I do not like the way my hair feels right now. Like, it feels all stuck together and tangled. Oh my gosh, y'all look at my hair. Look at this. It wasn't like this before the product. Y'all seen how my hair was 
Y'all have never had a product do this to my hair. And y'all look, it's a big tangle right here. Look at this. Let me try to move the... Y'all look at this knot in my hair. Yeah, I don't like this. Clump together, like stuck together. Forget that I even detangled my hair. Like, my curls do in the back, they do look good, but my hair feels terrible. It feels stuck together, it feels really plastic-like. I do not like this. <laughs> I'm so sad and disappointed. Cause I was not expecting this from Carol's daughter. This is not it. And I'm really sad. I was not expecting this. Cause Carol's daughter has never let me down. But today, y'all let me down with this product. I'm mad. I'm angry. Because I took my time out of my day to really detangle my hair just for it to end up back this nappy. And I'm about to struggle all over again. And I really can't believe this did this to my hair. It's not like I was doing all this and going in circles, retangling it. I wasn't doing it. Y'all, I wish I would have watched videos on this product before. I literally seen it at Walgreens and I was like, I gotta try this. I've never Is this a turnaround? Y'all. Maybe I should have waited before I spoke too soon. Is this a turnaround? Y'all. I rinsed it out. And look. My hair kind of feels soft. But it feels weird, y'all. So weird. But I just want to say I wish I would have watched some videos. So y'all, my hair did feel really soft after this shampoo. Without putting even the conditioner in there, my hair felt really soft, but it was still very tangled. So that's why that little false alarm happened, because I was just excited because it felt soft. But then I got those tangles. So this leaves me with the mixed reviews on the product still. I will have to try this in sections to see if my hair doesn't tangle, but I do like the overall feeling that it left my hair with. So this is just me going in, going in with my conditioner just to add that moisture in my hair since this was such a stripping shampoo. It was a very cleansing shampoo and it completely stripped my hair. And that may be a good or a bad thing since you do need a clean, healthy scalp and healthy hair. I mean, and clean hair for it to be healthy. But once I added the conditioner in there, I had no problems with my hair. Like, the only problem I had was during the actual shampooing process. But after, um, I will still be showing you that my hair looks really tangled, even in pulling it apart. And that is why I will try this in sections or either um, doing this while my hair is in twist and washing it that way. Because if your hair is in twist, it's less likely to tangle up from being down. And I do have... Um, some thick hair so maybe i should consider doing this in sections rather than all out i do need to get more into sectioning my hair and maybe that'll fix the problem let's cross fingers because i do want to give this product a chance and i really do want to come back with a review saying that this product ended up working for me because we all need to find that one product and that's really what i'm looking for and you know Let's just see if this is going to be it. We're going to find out later, though, because right now, today, it's not. Okay, y'all, so that's the end of the video. The only two things I can say that was good about this product is my hair does feel soft now, and it smells really good. Everything else, bad. Okay, I will try it again when my hair is sectioned while I wash it, which is still doing too much because you shouldn't have to section your hair while you, while you wash it when it's detangled. But I'm going to try that. And I'll let y'all know how that goes. It should be coming in like two weeks maybe. So tune in for that because I'm going to try it again. Because I spent only $11 because it was ten ninety nine. It's not a bad price for this size product. But I'm going to give it another try because I really have high hopes for it. Or had because I don't anymore. But thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure y'all tune into my next video.